School's out. Grab your sunglasses, your towel, get your beach ball, and go buy a house. If you didn't get one this spring, you might be asking yourself, is it a mistake to move this summer? Should we wait? Well, I have a whole bunch of reasons why you need to get moving right now. As the spring market shifts into summer, there sometimes can feel like a little bit of a slowdown. Kids are out of school, you're planning some vacations, and buying a house just might not be on your radar. But as prices rise and interest rates go up, I'm here to motivate you that you still need to act. And the sooner, the better. Because of our lack of supply, prices are still set to increase for the next several years. The difference is it's not gonna be 10%, 20% like we've seen, but it's still averaged out to be about two to 3%. Even the most pessimistic economists are still saying there's gonna be price appreciation. And that all comes down to supply and the fact that there's not enough of it. But as an example, today's $400,000 house is gonna be $412,000 next year. It's not a huge leap, but it's still more money I'd rather keep in my pocket. The Fed has already raised interest rates multiple times this year and announced that more rate hikes are coming. Even though you may feel tempted to put your home buying on hold, don't. Use this table here as a great example of why you need to act now. What you'll see is the same purchase price varies greatly in your monthly payment as rates increase. At a rate of four or 5%, your monthly payment is hundreds of dollars lower per month than if rates are up above five or six. I myself and lots of other experts will always say that real estate is the best way to hedge against inflation. And what it means is you buy today's house at 400,000, inflation increases, prices appreciate, that house tomorrow is 412, 420. Years from now, maybe it's 450 or 500. But during that time, your monthly mortgage has stayed the same. If you were renting that very same house five years from now, your rent would be way higher. So getting into something now and locking it in is the best way to ensure you're gonna get the cheapest price and it's your best bet to hedge against inflation. In real estate, spring is historically one of the busiest times and the most competitive. So one of the benefits, if you haven't found your house yet, is as you move into the summer months, sometimes things can slow a little. Some of the houses that maybe didn't sell, you might be able to get in on without facing a bidding war. There are some advantages to shopping at this time of year. If buying a home is even a minor thought, don't wait. And if you're curious about three types of homes that I would never buy, be sure to check out my next video. I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate. See you next time and enjoy your summer.